People are hmm. very aware that inflammation causes heart disease, Alzheimer's, osteoporosis, you name it, most chronic diseases. A lot of the inflammation stems from the gut. The main microbiome we talk about is this collection of bacteria in our gut. And we have trillions and trillions of bacteria in our gut. Most of them are actually good for you. They're helping you aid digestion, make hormones, they're protecting the gut lining. Which when there's an imbalance in the good and the bad, that layer of the gut wall often gets damaged because for a long part of it, it's just one cell thick. So when your microbiome is off and you're not protecting that layer with the good bacteria and there's microscopic damage, we can develop all sorts of problems. Often what happens when people have microbiome problems, because that protective layer of the gut wall is not there anymore, some of the metabolites of the bacteria or some byproducts of food actually leak through this very thin layer mm -hmm. and gets into the bloodstream and can create inflammatory processes all over the body, can create autoimmune problems. You are what you eat, but you also are what your bacteria eat and what they excrete. So you get prebiotics, which feed the probiotics, which are the gut bacteria, and those probiotics make postbiotics, mm -hmm. which are the metabolites of the bacteria. The prebiotics are sort of stalks and stems, fiber. Prebiotics okay. are foods that our bodies don't digest. So those feed the probiotics, the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. Those bacteria from that food make metabolites and excrete those metabolites. Those are called postbiotics now. So those postbiotics, they can be anti-inflammatory or they can be pro-inflammatory. If they're pro-inflammatory, often those postbiotics made by these bad bacteria create havoc throughout the body. I see a lot of this, in particular young women, but young men too, who had a lot of antibiotics. Antibiotics kill whatever bacteria are sensitive to that antibiotic, many of which are the good bacteria that are protecting your lining, keeping your gut working well. When that happens and, and they're killing the good bacteria, you get an overgrowth of yeast or bad bacteria. Those bad bacteria, are going to then metabolize the food that comes in. But when you have this imbalance, even if you eat a healthy diet, you can have problems. It's important to eat really healthy. But if you are eating a healthy diet and you still have bloating and gas, and you're not having a good poop every day, it's a little bit loose or a little bit constipated, chances are you got a gut problem. The question always arises, is it the food or is it the reaction of the food with your microbiome? Too often, people come in, their diets are pretty good, but their microbiome is screwed up and you've got to start correcting the microbiome. I use herbal formulas a lot to help balance that. So the first step is using herbal formulas to correct the imbalance. Then you may want to give probiotics, only after that. Sometimes you need nutrients to help with the leaky gut. Sometimes you need digestive aids, where that's bitters to stimulate digestion or enzymes. It all depends. But I usually start with the gut and then move on. 